it's me again with another Shift Your Vibe. I hope your week's going fantastically. Mine is. I'm really excited, excited, incredibly excited at the moment. I can't, I want to jump up and down with excitement. I have um, written a children's book and it's called My Secret Superhero. And um, getting ready to be released over the next, uh, uh, by next month it should be ready to go i'm just getting waiting on a final proof at the moment ah i'm so excited i can't wait i'm just every time the post comes i just rush out there to see if it's there but um back to this shift your vibe i wanted to share that with you today and i'll show you a quick picture of the cover Now I show you a picture of the cover just so you can have some idea of what I'm about to talk about. Now my uh, super secret superhero came about because a number of years ago when I was learning how to make some connection with my higher self and um, really, really feeling a need to become the person that I was born to be and to connect with um, some spirituality and some some higher self. Well, during that time, I started playing a little game and um, using my imagination, I imag started to imagine that my higher self was a superhero. Uh, he did look a little bit different than the one on the cover there today. I've tamed him down. He was, uh, I called him Spike and he was a little bit of a superhero with uh, attitude. He had a... Uh, a mohawk and some piercings, <laughs> a little bit of a punk. So, um, and what I, what I want to share with you today is an exercise that I started to do um, to be able to shift my vibe and I want to share that with you today. The reason I showed you my secret superhero is so that you can see what I'm talking about when I ask you to do this exercise. During the exercise, what we're going to do is ask our higher self, or for me, I used the character of my secret superhero because he has superpowers. And I, what I was asking him to do, I, I, I imagine him just standing in front of me, he's about that big, and he just sort of sits in front of my eyesight there. And I ask him to use his superpowers, the, the if you can just imagine Superman for a moment and he, um, you know, if he's trying to put a fire out or anything, he breathes it all in and gets rid of it. So what I decided to do was to, to get rid of some negative beliefs and to ask my secret superhero, who I was imagining standing right here in front of me, I asked him to just breathe in and take away all of those um, old beliefs, all of those reasons and excuses that I was using to not step into my power. So what, what we're going to do today is close our eyes just take a few deep breaths and as you breathe Allow your body to relax. Now, using your imagination, take a superhero, for instance. Let's say we'll play with Superman today. Let's put Superman a couple of inches in front of our face, in our mind's eye, of course. So we've got our eyes closed and we're imagining this superhero in front of us. Now what I want you to do is just let your mind slip back to all those times when someone told you you weren't good enough. All those times when your parents or your mother said, no, you cannot have that. And no, you don't deserve that. All those times when you wanted something and someone outside of yourself told you you couldn't have it. Just slip back into those times and remember how that felt to you. 
that feeling of unworthiness, that feeling of not being good enough. Now just gently, using your imagination, ask your superhero, your inner superhero, to just take a deep, deep breath and suck all of those feelings out of you. So imagine your inner superhero just breathing in like a vacuum cleaner and just sucking all of those feelings, all that unworthiness, all those times you felt that you weren't good enough. Imagine your superhero just sucking all of those feelings out of you. Just allow your superhero to suck those feelings out of you, that time that you felt you didn't deserve to buy something because you hadn't, or you just weren't worth it. All those times you didn't take the last biscuit on the plate because someone else was more worthy. All the times that you were told, no, you cannot do, you cannot have, you cannot be, whatever it was that you were told, just let that superhero suck that right out of you. And now in your mind's eye, see your superhero just blowing, just turn away from you and blowing all of those negative, all of that negative stuff out. Just uh, filtering, he's just allowing all of the negatives to come out of you while still retaining inside the power that you put into all of those things. So all the power, all your energy that you've put into feeling that way, your superhero is going to hold on to those things while he just blows out all the negative energy. And then once he's done that, just again imagining your little superhero just in front of you and allow him to come back in and join back in with you. And as he does that, he'll release all of your good energy. All of the energy that you put into those negative things will just come back to you as pure, clean energy. Now that's just an exercise. Um, if you, When you feel ready, just open up your eyes. Now I use that exercise on a regular basis just to clear any negative beliefs and feelings that I'm that I'm having um, and just to get rid of all of that bad energy so that I can really just step into my power. I mean take the power out of all of those situations in your past, all those times someone told you something, all those times you felt not good enough. Take your power out of it. Get it back. Bring it back to yourself. And use whatever tools you need to use to do that. <laughs> For instance a little superhero. <laughs> I hope that's, uh, that's helped you shift your vibe today and uh, I look forward to talking to you again soon and letting you know how I'm going with the release of my children's book. Bye for now.